Hi guys, Omer from mhot.com. I'm gonna do a quick first impression gameplay video for Lunia Record of Lunia War. Now this is a 2D level based, stage based MMO by uh, IJJI. And now if you want to play this game and just learn more about it, just check out the link on the right sidebar under the description. I'm gonna run around 5-10 minutes making some quick comments. So let's go ahead and make a new character here and just jump right into it. I already have a level 9 thief, but I'm gonna make a new one. Now, uh, you start off by picking your character. They all have different names, but they're really just different classes. We have, uh, whoa, I don't want to be this character anyway. I can't play that. Alright, you can be a knight, you can be a healer, you can be a wizard, you can be a thief, slime, puppeteer, templar, fighter, dual wheel swordsman, satanic bard, bounty hunter, archer, or ice wizard. Now, you can't play with these locked characters right now until you, uh, make some more progress into the game with one of the four starting characters. I'm gonna go ahead and make Siege, which is a warrior. Tells you that difficulty, which is nice. If you're a noob, you really want to stay with the mage because they're the easiest. So let's pick a Siege Helmoth. Well, it's kind of lame that there is no customization, but eh. Let's uh, jump right into it. There is the optional tutorial. You can take it if you want, but it's really, I don't think it's necessary. Let's uh, play in Ashdale, which is the fullest server. There's a lot of people playing, which is really nice. Uh oh, can't play there, it's full. Let's play on this one. Loading. Guys, extensive gameplay may be risky to your health. Keep that in mind. Controls on the top right, which is good. And keep in mind, this in this game you play the whole game is played with the keyboard. You don't really need to use the mouse ever. Now right now I'm in the town square. And this is really the only part of the game that's uh not instanced. Think of the it's like Guild Wars. When you leave town basically, it's everything is instanced. Here you can actually see other players you're not party with, and that guy looks awesome. This huge guy. Here you'll basically grab quests, sell your items, and just interact with other players, buy sell items, and stuff like that. Whoa, I don't know what that was. Anyway, let's just jump into the actual game here. There's a lot of quests here too. You can talk these NPCs and grab them. Um, there's a lot of quests, guys. This game has a boatload of quests, and many of the quests are repeatable, which is awesome. I'm not gonna worry about that. You double tap the direction if you want to run. Yeah, keep doing it though. You can't just hold it. Let's actually jump to the game here now. Now this game is broken down to six different episodes. Each episode has ten stages. You can see the stages on the map over here. Basically each uh, episode has a final boss at the end of each level. At the end of each episode, the tenth level. Which takes a mega boss. And each individual stage has a, a boss as well. Anyway, let's jump into the first episode over here. Adventure Alone. The game is always more fun with other players, but I don't want to, you know, look around for a party right now. Even though it's pretty easy to find other people to venture with. Because there is a very sizable population in the game. Alright, now what's really cool about this game is, uh, I skipped along by the way, is that before every stage, individual stage, there's actually this little, uh, cutscene where you can see the game's story progress. Uh, ma no, it's manga style anime. I like this, uh, princess over here. Yeah, you don't have to watch these though, but they are interesting. I mean, it, 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 I, just, I, I just keep it with escape, and let's uh, actually start the level up here. And it's cool that every single stage actually has that, so. Something you don't get in most games. Alright, I guess I, did, I have to do a tutorial, kinda. You can do combos with A and S. Attack is wolf is just A. It's an action game. And it's really cool though, I haven't played this since enough. Since I played this game originally on the global server, they've added a lot of new content to the game. Back when I played, there was only four classes and that's it. Now there's a whole bunch. The one problem with a game like this though, is that after you complete all the different uh, episodes and the stages, there's really little content left in the game because you really finish everything after that. Because you know, there's a finite amount of worlds and episodes. Hopefully they'll add more later on, but they really haven't been adding more episodes. No, they really haven't been doing that though. But they have been updating the game by adding other things. There's like a slime racing feature now. The PvP is a little more in-depth. There's um, a whole bunch of other little features. They've added a lot more quests as well. I didn't grab any right now, but there is a lot of quests in this game. So you'll never actually have to be grinding. And You know, it's really cool. You, you, you never really are grinding. You just complete these levels one at a time. And the quests, you know... You really, I really should have grabbed them because the quests, you know, involve killing the monsters in the episode. So I would actually be getting facing my quest by just killing these monsters that I already had to kill. You have skills as well. 
I can pull out my skill tree in a little bit. My 26 chain, I ruined it. And these, no, I'm playing the first level, but once you get deeper into the game, it actually does get difficult. You can't just, you know, mash one button and expect to win. You have to work together with teammates. You have to coordinate your skills. And especially the boss fights, they really are difficult. There's one at the end of every level and at the end of every world. And it kind of sucks if you die at a boss fight, though, because you have to redo everything. You, you know, you have a few lives, though. I can die twice, and I, I'll just respawn where I am. You can see in the top left. Of course, the game starts everything off easy. I think I want to make it challenging, so we, you know, get used to the game right now. I'm leveled up, guys. My stats will increase over there, and you can see if I click M, you can see my skills. I have strike skills, sword, charge, and bless abilities. There are a lot of skills in the game, and they each have a certain amount of points you can distribute into them. Let me go ahead and get cut. Alright, now I'm going to add my hockey bar in the bottom. The interface is very nice, very slick, very easy to use. I'm level 2, you can get a PvP ranking, you can pull up your PvP ranking as well from there. PvP is interesting too, especially after you've already finished all the episodes and you want to keep playing the game. You can always keep PvPing. You know, record all your stats, which is nice as well. I feel like Big Wolf over here. It's cool, because I believe there are puzzles as well later on. So you, oh, whoa, there's orcs over here. Wow, the skill just ripped those guys. I'm in world 1-1 one, one right now. And uh, it's not just this mindless grind. There's usually events you have to do, like you know, find certain items and defend the, you know, defend certain areas against upcoming waves of enemies. I should be getting to a, you know a scripted scene soon. Treasure chest. Experience is pretty slow paced, though. It will slow down after like level 15 significantly, but you still have to finish all the, all the levels. So you know, you're never really too worried about XP because you want to finish the levels, get to the bosses. And you know, you can you can read the story as well. It's nothing special, but it's something. I do applaud the guys that made Lunia for adding that to the game. It's a little piece of extra content, but it's something that no other game really does. Gold star. I don't know what they do. There's a whole bunch of these gold stars. But uh, you won't be seeing other players in here, like I said. This is all instance for me and my party. And uh, as more people get added to the party, the, the more difficult the monsters get, the more experience they yield. You're actually always better off doing these with other players because you do get more experience. And it's actually a little bit easier too, even though the monsters are harder. This feels like a you know, classic arcade side-scrolling beat-em-up game. And uh, if you play with people you know too, it's incredibly fun. Excuse the easiness at the beginning though. Put my uh, other info over here. Skill window. I didn't grab any quests, I really should have. There's a lot of quests in this game. And uh, the quests are actually... Oh, I get to the boss fight, boss fight already. A lot of the quests are repeatable as well, so there's really no end to them. Alright, this ogre should be easy to kill. You see the HP at the bottom? I really should dodge that, which I did not do. Wow, I'm getting ripped by the first boss. Excellent! No, he just died with my skill. Kill this sunflower thing over here, and then we finish this level. It's cool because when you finish the level, you get a rank. Let's see how I did. I got B, S, C, F, F. You know, I didn't get any of the secret locations in the level. Which is kind of lame. I can pick one of the boxes for a chance at some item. I like the purple box. Let's see what we got in the purple box. Ooh, I got an old box and old silver coins. Let's get this. Alright. I got a rank B, and it goes up to rank S, I believe. I can see the story again over here. Is it the same story? No, it should be different. It's per level. And actually, the translation is surprisingly good. I'm gonna skip that for now, though. EG did a surprisingly good job localizing it. And I can proceed to the next stage over here by clicking uh, F1. I can redo the stage to aim for a higher score. And just to get more items or finish quests and finish on the, along the way. My whole party would be here, too. We'd, we'd, we'd be doing all of this together. It's cool, because, you know, you get... I said it's cool a lot now, so I'm gonna stop saying that. And if you get, like, four, you know, four friends to do this with you, you really just, you know, you'll stick with those same guys and you'll play for a couple hours and you'll do, you'll, you'll do like 5-10 levels, of, you know, it's fun. I'm gonna go back to the square for now. There's other, you know, interesting maps to explore too in each of the episodes. There's a practice field and amusement part over here. Here there's a cave and these aren't actual parts of the, you know, the, the gameplay. It's just extra content. 
Let's, let's see what legend is. There's a, it's really, well, I didn't know about these. There's bonus episodes as well, so you actually get more content. So it's not just six episodes, it's actually even more. But these you won't be able to unlock right away. You have to finish the main content first. Yeah, and wow, there's another, there's more, six more episodes here, maybe. I'm not even sure. Could be the same one, I'm not sure. But there's, there's, there is actually a lot of content now. They've done a great job adding the content to the game. Well, anyway, guys. That's been uh, my first person gameplay video for Lunia. If you want to play this game or learn more about it, check out the look on the right sidebar. Later, guys.